Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the EU Northeast Smurf series. We return playing Annie today um, after I just played the Yumi game. And I know some people won't watch that because it's Yumi, but please go watch it. We actually had a really fun time laughing a lot. So if you want to be in a good mood, go watch that video. You won't regret it. Uh, but because we just played Yumi, I'm not even kidding. It's actually made me a little bit sleepy. Uh, and I'm not even kidding. So I was like, let's do a more simple game. It's my last ranked game of the day. So we're playing Annie. Bringing up the old load of Maduda. So we are obviously still in basically Smurf queue potentially. Gwen got banned from this guy. We got a good a duo. Um, we got a Shaco with actually a negative win rate. And it's the weird thing I will say. It's actually not that uncommon to see negative 30% win rate and un you know, negative win rates. Why? Because again, this is not normal Smurfing anymore. This is this is Smurf queue. So yeah, like again, if if you we're right, we've done eight games. This is the ninth on this account. We were, at one point on this account, I think one win, three losses, or one win, four losses. So, like, yeah, it, when it's Smurf queue, it kind of gets rid of the normal win percentages. Because, like, normally Smurfs could be all over 80% or something like that, but not really anymore, because Smurf queue exists. So we got a pike. I've not seen a pike for ages, man. Why does Smurf queue exist? The idea is to get Smurfs out of average ranked games. But it's good and bad. It's good when it works properly. And like last game, all 10 players was a smurf. Every, all 10. Um, but this game, it looks like some people might not be. So they're on the borderline. Like the game thinks they're a smurf, but they're not. Um, that can screw those players harder than the old system did. Uh, and also it does generally keep smurfs at lower rank more. Because they're taking longer to climb. Therefore, it could screw average players even more. So I don't know. Smurf Q is both good and bad. But here we go. Playing Annie. We're against a Ryze. Uh, Ryze is... I don't, I like the champion. I just don't think he's great for solo queue. It doesn't... like. But it's also worth knowing. It doesn't mean that he's bad. You can do really well on Ryze. You can take over games. He's a hyper carry. But for me, I like to use all four elements of a champion's kit. You know, including the ulti and whatever. And Ryze's ult, for me personally, is really hard to use in solo queue well when your teammates and you don't have great coordination. In pro play, you've seen amazing Ryze ultimates. In solo queue, not so much. So that's where like Ryze gets a bit iffy for me because you just can't you can't quite use his ultimate as well as you'd probably want to. But uh yeah. So he is duo queue with the grave, so I do have to keep that in mind. If I heavily pressure this Ryze, his duo queue buddy will be like well, he'll be, he's probably on Discord with the Graves, and he's like, and he's pushing, come gank. So you always have to keep that in mind, and that's why I do recommend using something like Porofessor. Again, link down below if you want to check it out, because it does tell you that info. If, if I didn't know that these two are duo queue, I could push it, push it, push it, and be like, why is Graves coming here so much? But I know because they're duo, and Porofessor tells me that. Uh, Gallo Bozo, EBB with the gifty subby. Thank you very much. Very kind over to Freddy. So I'm holding my stun and just last hitting with auto attacks. Just kind of increases the pressure of like, oh, I can stun you at any moment. So you can't go aggressive. Nice bot lane winning by themselves. Woo! Okay, my team's getting fed without me. Hello. I want to get involved now. Where's the graves? Because shake. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. No. Oh, Shaco, buddy. That's really bad. So again, that's the duo cuteness. Rise instantly comes over because the Graves probably yelled, come, 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 and the Rise flashes and everything. I think Shaco may have got caught out that the Rise is also, uh, sorry, the Graves is also using, uh, hang on. I think he, the Shaco got caught out that the Graves is using Ignite. Obviously, the Ignite play is the aggressive Graves thing. That again, Smurfs will do more often than not. Really good players will do. The typical Graves, average Graves, would just go Flash. Put it this way, I'd go Flash on Graves. I would not go Ignite. But yeah, damn, that was a shame. I just saw it happening because I was like, where the hell is the Graves? And yeah, Graves are legitimately, if you're wondering like what actually happened, 
Graves is waiting in that bush near the scuttle, knowing that Shaco just ganked top lane. Oh, he might come to this scuttle crab. I can gank him, gank, gank the Shaco. So Graves is just chilling in that bush for probably quite a long while, which is a bit funny. Zion's not doing great. He's half farm right now. I don't actually know how strong... Oh, again, the duo Q. Gotta love duo Q players. This is why I don't do a Q, everybody. So again, if you're newer to the channel because of this series, I am a non duo Q player, generally. I like to know that I got the rank myself. And it's, again, it's a personal thing that if I achieve a rank, I would it would constantly eat at my mind that I don't deserve the rank if I duoed. Like, again, I'm not trying to diss other duo players or anything like that. It's just how my mind is. I, I can't help it. That's just the way that my mind currently is and is, you know, the way it is. Hopefully Shaco can get out because, again, the duo cuneness, again, that's their point. Like, Ryze is only making that play because they're working together. I'm dead. I didn't know they were right there. I saw the graves. I didn't know Ryze was there. God damn it, dude. This early game has not gone well for me. That's not good. Wow, they don't get him. Double ignite and they don't get him. I'm actually weirded out that the Ryze... Oh, wait, Shaco's dead. <gasps> 86 health. He went down to 6 health because of Scorch, I guess. Mm. This game is not bueno. The early game started well, but we've just like fallen away a little bit. Oh, he was there. I knew he might have been around. I got the vision of him a little bit too late. That's confident. Confidence. I'm just expecting to get ganked again. This is like, what, that game? Didn't we play? Yeah, with the Ari game at the beginning of the placements, we kind of got like mega camped as well. This is a little bit similar. He's trying to herd me to this side. Why is he trying to herd me? So again, the way that he's moving, if he's over this side, he wants me to go the other way. So I would take that Graves is always the other way that the Rise is. But his damage is already quite high. And the annoying thing is we have a Shaco. Again, he's doing okay, but obviously Shaco nowadays is very much an early game champ. So you want a Shaco to do well, otherwise he might kind of fall off. Yeah. Just want him dead. It's a shutdown. It's a dead rise. Place your bets. Will Graves come to cover the lane? Probably. Oh no, Graves is in here. Okay, not bad kill. Bot lane's fighting. Ooh, double zillion. Uh, uh, oh, that was a bit rough. That zillion was like, I don't really think near execute. Hmm. 
that was odd by the bot lane a little bit. Unfortunately, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You're someone to learn top lane. You've been struggling a lot lately. You don't know what you're doing wrong, but we're top lane. Um, the bigger thing with top lane, I'd say just focus on trying to beat your 1v1. So learning a champion and knowing when their power spike is and farming well. Just keep to the basics at the beginning and then you can hopefully get into more advanced stuff as time goes on. If Sion lives through that, I'd be pretty happy, but I doubt he's going to. Yeah, I think we're going to use the Rift Herald mid lane by the looks of it. He took my cannon. Okay. So he didn't... So he pushed it, took my cannon, and didn't use Rift Herald. Okay. Yeah, top lane is a very, very knowledge-based role. Well, all, all leagues, but like... Specifically, top lane, I think most people would agree, is the most 1v1 orientated role in the game. So specifically knowing your 1v1 against your opponent is very important. Mm, the problem, look at the farm in bot lane. It's still going well in bot lane, but they need to be careful here. They need to be careful like a rise ultimate in or something. Because rise... Oh, use that timing. And again, the duo queue effect. Okay, so this this is why I don't like duo queue players. They are only doing things because they're duo. Uh, it's just annoying. Again, apologies if it's a bit annoying for me complaining about it. It's just personally what I find annoying. They can't overstay this. The enemy is coming. They have to kill Zillion and try to leave. Because Graves and Rise will be on their way. Ta-da! Because again, they're duo queue, so they only do things together! So they got one. So it was a one for one in the end. Both supports died. Shaco, just leave. You're outnumbered. Three versus two. Uh, the pike is... Mm, I think auto-filled. Yeah, he's an Illawi one trick is the pike. See you later, Mr. Bossy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Gonna get some vision down. Mega Huzzy snap back. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some new merch pretty soon, because the subathon unlocked it for the community. And I think Aurelia's gonna get a kill. Mm, nice, okay. That was close. I don't want to keep giving dragons away, though. And we're now out of position for the dragon. And I'm pretty sure I don't one-shot the graves. Hmm. There he Okay, stop. I'm at... Oh, okay. Scion died for the drag... Of the tower, sorry. Yeah, I really don't want to give that dragon away. And that would require Shaco not being top lane farming Krugs, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> this Pike, man. He keeps mega diving and then, like, messing it up and then ending up dead again. Like, the Jin seems pretty good. The Pike needs to stop making these really big mistakes. I'm going to go see if Graves is doing the dragon. Not yet. That Tib has missed. Where the hell is our team? Oh, 
I do not know what's going on. I think it's okay, but Aurelia is just split pushing the whole game. If we get the dragon, it's good. Unfortunately, that was a mistake by me. Missing that Tibbers was bad. So Aurelia could technically now TP. No, again, so it's a split pusher. Okay. I have to try and stop the Aurelia. Again, I, th I still think Aurelia is an insanely strong champion. Um, and not crazy hard to play. I'd say the hardest thing with Aurelia is her E. We, we will be playing Aurelia in this series, by the way. We'll definitely give her a go. Because a lot of people have always said, Huzz, you would probably enjoy Aurelia. Which is probably true. Graves is bot. I think this game is winnable. Pike ulti is so early. Hmm. That was a very, very early. Oh, our Shaco has got 3.5k gold. So that is every educationally, everyone. That's actually terrible what that Shaco's doing. He is an early game champion. Holding 3.5k gold in the early game and not making your power spike quickly is bad for an early game champ. He needs to do well early. Do not be holding 3.5k. Because that's a lot of gold to be holding. Yeah, it's all to be yeah, it's always important, but it's like especially important for something like a Shaco. Who arguably nowadays falls off into mid to late game. Yeah, they got it. Nice. There was a ward here. Okay. Don't know where the rise has gone. And he has been a little bit roamy this game. Again, generally whenever the graves moves, the rise does too. So we pulled back a little bit here, so that's good. Again, definitely will help that our Shaco now has got pretty good items. We can get this graves. Nice, this is a good snowball. Missed my E. Oh, miss, sorry, missed my W, I meant. And I've also, I perf I will say, bad by me, I forgot he had ignite. <laughs> I actually forgot he had Ignite. Oh, so that was a bit of a mess situation. So Jin stayed bot lane too long, and that let Aurelia then kill the Jin. Because now, look, these guys are focusing this Rise, and now Aurelia's just killing the Scion by herself. So that was a bit iffy, and now Aurelia gets to clean up completely. Yeah. So that was a bit poop team play. Again, I definitely will take blame for that, because I fought the Graves, and I did bad. That wasn't fantastic. And again, Aurelia is the type of champion that can just clean up. Um, again, I might be a bit... A little bit sensitive about Aurelia, because she is, I would call, my Kryptonite champion in League. I really don't think she's hard to play compared to how much she can do. And literally at level 1, she can get over a thousand stats from a passive. I think that's ridiculous. Oh, he didn't go in that bush. Don't be a 
If I land a good tip as this game, it will actually make a big impact, I'll say. The enemy team is fairly squishy. Just got to land that good tibbers. Again, the risk of Graves, he has no flash. So if he uses E, he cannot reposition very fast. Wait, that didn't hit Aurelio? And there we go. Not a bad start to the team fight. You could say... And Aurelio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that champion! Oh, that champion... Alright, we win. No, that wasn't bad. Again, shame I died, but it's whatever. Oh, God. That champion's insane. I don't know why Jin was trying to take on the Rise, but it's okay. That was a bit risky by the Jin. Because Rise, again, he's a scary champion to take on in a 1v1. Um, that guy is hes a hyper carry. Gwen is. Uh, sorry, Gwen. I read Gwen in chat. Uh, Rise is a hyper carry, and. Like a lot of things, I would say, in season, what are we, 11, a lot of late game champions do not feel that weak in the early game um, because of just how strong items are now. So that's where, like, Kassa win or Kassadin, sorry, uh, he does feel stronger because he is, you know, Kassadin was basically never supposed to have a lane phase. He now can beat things in lane, um, you know, for what is also a late game hyper carry. I've even seen Cogmores win lane. Cogmore is supposed to be a late game hyper carry with a non-existent early game but that is just the way league is nowadays rise probably has benefited from that too he is a late game hyper carry but because he can get items quicker that have strength he actually doesn't feel that bad so this graves he's risking a little bit in invading by himself oh that was a really good w by the Jin. holy moly that probably just saved their lives that was clutch I just noticed my KD. Again, I'm not a KD player, but obviously you don't really want to be two and six. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This game has not gone exactly my way, but that's also a valuable lesson in solo queue. Not every game is going to go your way. If you can't accept that, then I wouldn't play ranked. Are we here yet? Just sometimes it ain't your game or it ain't your opportunity, but I have a saying... You don't always need to be Batman. You can sometimes be Robin or Alfred. You don't always have to be the hero. Sometimes being the support is perfectly fine and sometimes also is as important. <laughs> Batman without Alfred doesn't have any of his fancy tech. So that's the point. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did you hear me say goodbye? <laughs> I just saw it coming. I'm like, it's a fed Shaco. You're a Kaiser that's alone. You're dead. Again, yeah, so the Shaco, he's doing really well. I still think, by the way, what he did hold 3.5k ain't great. Like, maybe he had 2k and then he had a big fight and that got him up to 3.5 or something. But I still think he should have been purchasing a little bit more regular. Again, still playing great. Still doing good. He has to snowball. It's an early game champion. And he's snowballing. So well done to the Shaco. Good job, my dude. Oh. I mean, they've got two people bot lane. So yeah, I guess this Baron is a good idea. Oh, they even cut... They had vision here, by the way, so they knew that was happening, but they just had nothing... They couldn't do anything about it. They were completely out of position. Um, I don't really know what's going on, though. Like, why is there split pushing going on and all this? Like, I actually think they could be in our jungle. If I'm not... I'm not, actually not kidding. I think they're trying to spring a trap in our jungle. Right? Maybe no. Go Morello. I'm also, again, the, the Alfred mentality. I'm going Morello Nomicon, the anti heal item, because I'm not having a great game. You don't generally, like, if you're doing really wet, really fed and really well as a mage, Morello sucks to get, but because I'm not having a fed game, I'm buying the item for utility for my team. So that's kind of having that mentality of, like, playing with my team and letting them carry. Oh, 
Oh god. I just get one shot in these fights. The Rise literally just one combos me and I'm dead. Nah, that wasn't a great fight, but yeah, it's still fine. This is just a poop game for me, and I just have to accept that. I'm just too weak now to do anything. Couldn't even land the Tibbers. I was trying to get the stun. Oh, the Zillion went over. That was weird. But again, I like showing this, so I'll probably still upload it. Um, a lot of normal YouTubers would hide this game away because, you know, you don't want to show a game that you're not playing well in. But I personally think it's important to show um, because I think the big reason why the League of Legends player base on, on average, like, takes bad games so badly is because people hide this stuff. They, people don't admit that they have a good or bad game or a bad game, sorry. Um... It's normal to have bad games. Faker has bad games. Perks, Caps, they have bad games. It's okay. It's fine. It doesn't make you a bad player. It doesn't mean you're not a diamond player if you have a bad game or whatever it may be. But the League community has that kind of toxic thing to having occasional bad games because I think the community is so used to not seeing bad games from content creators. I think that is definitely part of the problem. For me, anyway. It's what I've experienced. Because, you know, it doesn't feel good to be uploading a content crate as a, a, you know, a game like this. There'll be comments going, oh, you suck. It's a bad game. Relia's here, my dude. So, Relia's spitty pushy. She looks really tanky. Probably because she is really tanky. So I've got to try and just go with something that I think. So I'm either going to just try to get a good stun in. I have to just land a good Tibbers and that's my contribution. Or I still can probably one shot a, like Kaisa. And that could be my contribution. So I'm not going to like commit to one of them. One of my goals this game is either... I don't... No. So yeah, like, what? Graves just killed two people. I couldn't see the W, man. The Graves W blinded me. But that's the... But by the way, that was a... At the time, what was he? He was a 3 and 5 Graves? Yeah, killing a really fed Shaker. Why? Because the game is getting to mid-game and the Shaker is starting to fall off. Cool, this could go well. Damn, that Kaiser is also starting to do damage. Land one. He hit one right at the end. Oh, right at the end. And then Cyan got the left hook. Bam. Graves had two lives, though. Gra didn't Graves kill Shaco before he, he died to Zillion? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Like, me I couldn't see. Maybe we got Zillion... Shaker got Zillion stunned by the bombs, I guess. That Graves, that sh that Rise did damage when he was Zonya's, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty damn sure. And again, that is a known bug that's been around in the game for a little while. He's altered away. And he ulted away. Waddle, waddle. We need Shaco to basically assassinate the squishies, and then hopefully we can deal with the the frontliners or something. Like if I could, well, if I could one shot Zillion, it'd be good before he gets an ulti. But that's going to be difficult. Zilin really has to miss position for that to happen. I guess that's what I can do, I guess. Get the rise, that's huge. Like 
Nice, that's huge. Duo Q made a mistake. Aurelia split pushing, but we can do Baron. So yeah, the Zillion has also been weirdly like by himself in lane as well. Do I feel like this is a gold ELO game? No, it's Smurf Q. Again, that that's I remember that like the first like the first time last year when Smurf Q was a thing. Again, you had those comments going, "Oh, Huzz isn't climbing in gold or something." It's Smurf Q. <laughs> Smurf Q is obviously like fairly new, so I guess it did. It's taking people a while to go in and go. Oh yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, that, it, it's designed to keep Smurfs. I guess. Well, it's weird. It's designed to keep Smurfs with Smurfs, so therefore you it, the game quality is a lot higher earlier into your like your ranked climb. Oh, missed. I thought the W might have reached there. Again, it was never gonna reach unless um. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. We don't need any more, don't need any more. That's all we need, it gives us pressure over the dragon. Not loving our positioning here, has to be said. Yeah, Scion's all the way by himself. Got him. If I can kill the Zillion, I'm actually really happy because, like, he's a, a big, obviously, Reza. Do I think Smurf Q is defeating the purpose of Unwrecked Diamond a little bit? A little bit, um, because obviously I'm not getting a true experience of the server's own ratings. Like, I'm not playing in EU Northeast Silver really or i'm not really playing in gold but the idea of this series is to climb through the server and also see what the differences are eventually so we'll when we get into like high plat diamond then we'll get a good sense because like smurf q will kind of run out if that makes sense uh you know we'll kind of get to a rank that we belong in and we'll get to feel what the actual difference is and that's kind of what i'm looking forward to hey the rest is oh no your, your sub ran out sage you can see I'm slowly recovering myself this game. It is taking a while. No, it is Smurf Q. Um, again, it's pretty obvious to know. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. It's not it's not hard to work out if you're in Smurf Q or not. Majority of people in the game are low level accounts with no ranked history and decent win rates. Oh, you are subbed. What the hell? Your sub badge didn't appear, but now it has. He's top. Oh my god, how many wards do these people want? So there's a ward in there. Okay, uh, this zillion has got a very odd playstyle. Like, he split pushes with people. Doesn't make any sense. Come bot lane team. We've got actually really good positioning here. Can we force the Relia to come back? They are looking for a pick over there. They don't get it. So they have to be careful. Yeah, this Scion is huge. Is it worth killing the Kaiser if I see the kill? So that's the thing that's going through my head. Is, is she worth getting if I can flash Tibbers? Or do I save it for a higher priority target? I was thinking about going for that, but Shaker wasn't here. Get rid of their revive. Again, that's that's in my head, that's actually worth more than the Kaiser, as crazy as that is. Now, in theory, we should be able to bully our way into here. Okay, that's fine. It's fine.
Break it, break it, break it. It's fine. Oh, I didn't have stun. I'm an idiot. I thought I had stun. I was one off stun. Oh, that should have been a dead zillion. That was a mistake. All right, see, we're actually turning my game here, everybody. So this is also the mentality of don't give up. You can have bad games, that's okay. But don't give up. If you give up, then you can't turn your game around. This game's been pretty poop for me, but we're managing to do a lot better. Magi? Not feeling Magi this game. There you go. We probably win the game from that. Save my tibbers. <laughs> just quickly save the tibbers by moving the other direction. Just very fast. Because tibbers can add a bit more tower damage. It's little things like that that are subtle. But they do add up. But there we go. We managed to actually turn this game around. So this has actually been come. Look at my KD. We have completely recovered my KD. We're now 888. So this was a, this was a hard game for me. Um, again, these two obviously worked a lot together, and that's been a bit tricky, and then in lane phase it's a lot trickier, but we turned it around, so that was a really nice game. Again, well played to my teammates, because I definitely didn't do great in lane phase, but this again, this was an Alfred game, this wasn't a Batman game, go watch the Darius game for a, for a, for a Batman game that I carried, this was an Alfred game, I'm in the background, I'm helping, and yeah, I, I ended up actually doing pretty good. Like, I actually reckon, and this is a bold prediction... I bet my damage done isn't bad. I bet my damage done isn't actually that bad. So we actually gained 36. So ladies and gentlemen, we're now already in gold. So we are we have achieved already above average rank in the Smurf series in placements on again. Remember, this is a fresh account. I literally finished leveling this account a couple days ago. Um, but also remember that there is a bug, maybe not a bug. Um, that normal games, normal game MMR affects ranked game MMR. So if you're a new player in League right now, keep playing normal games before you go into ranked. And when you kind of feel, oh, my normal games are quite hard right now, then play ranked because you'll actually start a higher rank than iron. You're supposed to start ranked in iron. We started all the way in high silver because of our normal game MMR. It's so weird that that's a thing. And also worth knowing, if your rank right now is sucking and you're gaining no LP, that, oh, I'm only gaining 15 LP, stop playing ranked, go play normal games, increase your normal game MMR, and that will help your ranked games. As stupid as that sounds, that's the way that they're doing it. And there you go. We did the most damage in the game. Nope. High silver is not where you start. We've done Smurf series for years. Iron is where you now start on a fresh account. But maybe now not anymore because normal game MMR stuff is affecting it. We did a climb. We did two Smurf series, I think, last year. And Iron was the starting point. But uh, yeah, we did the most damage on my team. So as I said, I actually felt that we recovered our game well. So yeah, we still didn't do more damage than these two. But we recovered our game really well. So if you guys enjoyed, I think this was a pretty good episode. Please do throw a like on it. Throw a subscribe. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hell yeah.